Mr. 86 fan. I'm Grant Tommy, helping you build your hot rod and your confidence without a ton of money. And today we are still working on the GT40P head swap. Uh, last weekend, of course, we got a decent amount done. There's a little bit that I will show you in this episode that didn't quite make the cut last weekend. The main goal here today is to clean those heads and prep them for final paint and hopefully final install, depending on how it all goes. All right, so one of the last things I got done last weekend on Memorial Day was I ported the second cylinder head and I took the advice of the commenters and everything I've learned since then, which basically went a little less drastic than the first at the passenger side. And I just focused my efforts on the ceiling and what would be the left side of the port. Uh, I'll leave a link down below. Basically negative velocity happens definitely in this lower right hand corner of each exhaust valve. So what we're doing today is thanks in part to Jed Scott at Scott Speed Shop. I've borrowed his valve spring compressor. Um, we are just uh, taking the exhaust spring off so we can open the exhaust valve so we can spray some brake cleaner down it um, following our port job uh, just to make sure we have a nice and clean cylinder head. Now that I've had a chance to clean out the exhaust valves, the back side of them, where maybe some metal dust may have gotten in there from the porting process, it's time to just douse these things in brake fluid, um, get all the oils off of the, for the machine shop, um, you know, would have been left in the machine shop. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna spend our time doing some good cleaning. Um, in fact, I will probably wipe down my work surface once again with acetone just to be safe. Um, and then we'll take them out to the yard where there's a nice place to uh, kill some weeds at and uh, spray it down and get it ready for paint. We've got a mask off, of course, the top here as well, but we want to clean this up first. Um, Okay, heads are clean and masked. We're gonna go find a place in the backyard that maybe has some weed issues that we're gonna go uh, lay some paint down on this thing. Again, here's the paint that made its appearance in the water pump episode, but uh, we're gonna try to get two coats on this guy and while it is drying, we're gonna start to work on the other head. Well, like anything in life, it's amazing how much just a little bit of experience does for you. 
the four exhaust valves on this side took me probably half the time. Of course, I wasn't trying to videotape anything either. Why do I say tape? We haven't used tape in forever. Anyway, um, but yeah, no, it's so much easier to, I got the hang of it, kind of how to manipulate things. I mean, they were in and out. I bet you I maybe spent 20 minutes on these. First one, probably 40 at least. But still got to clean passenger side one up. Okay, so there we go. We got two coats of paint on this guy. We will torque it down here pretty soon. Um, but first, I gotta go take this guy to paint. Um, I just spent a little extra time cleaning the, uh, the block surface on both sides. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go paint the other one and then we're gonna start torquing down that guy while we wait for this one to dry. Okay, now that we're finally ready to install the heads once and for all. Uh, you may recall from a previous episode, I showed you the LMR package I bought with head gaskets and a Ford Racing Performance head stud kit. And uh, they're two different sizes of studs. The longer ones uh, go on top, the smaller ones go on the bottom. And before we get going, we'll take Put assembly loop on the longer ones and thread sealer on the shorter ones. Now it looks like the Ford Racing Performance Kit actually prepped these with a little thread sealer anyway. So I think I'm just going to go one or two threads up from that, put just a little dab on, a um, little extra insurance, and I think we'll be fine. So according to the old Chilton's manual, um, so there's going to be five bolts either side. Five, one, two, three, four, five, or I should say five top and bottom rather than either side. Anyway, uh, there's a torque pattern and you want to start in the middle, work your way out from the middle, but you go back to the, um, towards the driver's wheel first. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, I'm just going to hand thread these in for now. Uh, come back with the socket, tighten them down, hand tight, and then um, it's like a 50, 60, 70 foot-pound torque pattern they want you to do. That, uh, I guess, it's kind of unsatisfactory. My torque wrench wasn't giving me the best feels, so I did the torque pattern 50, 60, 70 on that one. Um, but I kind of worry I over torque some, maybe under torque some, just because it was acting funky, the click type. So I just did 50 and 60 on this one. I'm going to see if I can't borrow a friend's better torque wrench and we can check that side and then we can finish that one off 70. Otherwise, so I guess a better pickup. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt from my Spreadshirt store. Link in the description below. Otherwise, definitely go check out one of these two videos. Get yourself caught up on the GT40P swap. Otherwise, that's going to do it for this episode. Until next time, peace out.